Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our video which is all about tips and tricks on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So if you are joining us for the very first time, go ahead and smash the subscribe button notification icon to get more videos like this and hopefully you're enjoying it on the channel. Now as you see here, I have the Z Fold 3 but before we get into the tips and tricks, I'm going to talk about the Z Fold S Pen case here. This is the one from Samsung. This is the case that everyone has seen and talked about, you've seen in my other video. And this case is an interesting one because it's got a lot of potential, but it's not that great. So as you can see right here, the front cover display doesn't actually stay on. It just flaps open. There are no magnets, so it doesn't stay on. So that's something to take note. So this will always be like that. And when you open it up, you can see the, the front cover also becomes elongated or longer than the case itself. So it makes it a bit more difficult while you use it. It makes you feel like using a bigger device. Now, if you lay it flat with the S Pen, you can see it doesn't stay flat. You can, however, take this out. So that's something you can do. You can just slide this off and this will release the S Pen. And of course, then you can now have it, use it flat. I do like the idea of this case. Hopefully we'll see manufacturers like Spigen uh, give you something different. That being said, the S Pen do, one quick thing before we get into some more S Pen tips is that on your device like the Galaxy S21 Ultra here, you can use the S Pen on it, uh, but it's only for navigation. It does not work for things like taking notes. So for instance, I cannot bring up the, uh, the S Notes feature. I have to go into the app itself. And when I try to write, on the display, it doesn't write. So the S Pen does not work on this device and vice versa, your S Pen from your S21 Ultra or your Note, if you've checked out my Note video, will not work on this device and you'll be prompted with that message. So if you're using this S Pen, don't do that. The main reason is because the S Pen on the, on the Z Fold is retractable. You can see that there that basically retracts. If you push hard enough, it'll actually bounce back. So there you go. The S Pen does not work on the cover display. It will not work. I repeat, it will not work. So that's something you shouldn't try to do. The S Pen will only work with the internal display. Okay, so with our S Pen, we've got our, of course, our edge panel, which you can quickly access. Uh, and you can customize your edge panel too as well. And you can also pin your edge panel. That's something that's added to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So you've got that option here and you've got the cards where you can go in and select different cards. You can tap this for weather and my weather card should be updated now. So I'll go ahead and I have that. So that's something that's nice and easy to do. You can unpin it if you want to and so on and so forth. It's a very simple thing. Now, with the S Pen itself, you do have, of course, full S Pen functionality. So you've got air commands. You can go ahead and use the list of tools on the S Pen. You can create notes, view all notes, smart select, which of course is basically taking a screenshot, uh, screen write, live messages. I'm not sure who does that anymore, but it's still there. Air doodles, translate, pen up, and then you can add more from shortcuts. Now, you don't have to add S Pen applications, you can add any application in. So I can put in, say for instance, um, Call of Duty, which I like to play, or you can put in any other application on this list here. These are the S Pen apps on top, and then below that line, there's all the apps that you can use. And boom, so you have that built in, and then you can see I have Call of Duty right there. So all that functionality is built in, and it's pretty simple and easy to use. I can go ahead and just, Take a screenshot of that and I can edit that. I can do whatever I want to, so on and so forth. So you get the general idea. So with the S Pen, you can customize uh, more of the S Pen features within the advanced features. So you can go into um, S Pen and then you can turn off screen off memo, uh, quick, 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 quick shortcuts, air view, show pointer hover, commands, so on and so forth, sounds. And then of course, here's some tips to using your S Pen here. It doesn't have the full Bluetooth functionality of the S Pen, but again, this is something that you can do quite effectively. Uh, some, of the, some of the 
major features of the S Pen on this device. Okay, so let's go into our settings and jump into display. Now here, of course, you can change your refresh rate from adaptive to standard. So moving from 120 to 60 hertz if you choose to. Then you have a couple other functionalities like full screen apps. This will help push a lot of your apps to use the full display size 7.6 inches for the internal display. Certain apps just won't work, so can't change settings for this app. Instagram is one of those culprits. So for instance, if I go to Instagram, it's still going to kind of look like this in terms of where the app placement is. That's just the way it is. Uh, not all apps uh, behave like that, but you can force a lot of your apps to work on full screen, which is good. Again, that's just something that Instagram just won't do at this time. Then of course, you've got your edge panel, which is right here, and you can customize your edge panel. We saw that earlier, where you can go into the panels, you can select the panels you want, and you can add more panels or tools or tasks to them. So depending on what you're looking for, you can add more things to your edge panel. And then you can also customize it with the handles. And then finally, continue apps on cover screen. So this allows you to continue apps from the internal display and say maybe close, maybe you want to close it up and then use the cover display. Call of Duty does not support this, but games like Contra, um, Genshin Impact, as well as also PUBG will support it. Uh, and uh, some of your apps will. So you can actually force all these applications to do that. I have TikTok here. So if I say go into TikTok, And then you can continue from here into the internal display. So it tends to refresh every time you switch over with uh, something like TikTok, but not every application is like that. So I can try go on with Twitter here. And if we had to see, we have Chad on this screen. Let's see if it stays on Chad. It does. So it depends on the application, but you can see you can switch from internal to the cover display. Now, if we scroll a little bit lower to advanced features, this is where you have some of the advanced features like the S Pen using on this device. So you can continue apps on other devices, which allows you to move apps or app functionality from one Samsung device to another, uh, compatible devices. Link to window is pretty simple. Yeah, you want to li link it to Windows itself. So that will actually link with your desktop or your uh, laptop PC. And then you've got Dex, which is actually built in here. You've got Dex uh, to TV or monitor. So if you have like a wireless monitor or your TV or to your PC itself, you can do that. And you just select the functionality uh, right there. Android Auto, you've got Quick Share. And then Labs is a land for multi-window for all apps. So you can actually use your apps in multi-windows and also customize aspect ratios if you choose to. So you can select the applications there. And then you've got Flex Mode uh, Panel where when the, phone, when the phone is folded upright, and the apps you're using will appear in the top of the screen on the panel. So you can select apps that will do that. Uh, you can have it kind of float around. So, And you can also do things like, go ahead and make it translucent if you want to. So I can see, you can see the verge underneath there while Call of Duty is still on there. And then of course you can make it brighter. So you can do that. And that this brings us to, of course, using multiple applications at once. So this is a perfect example of how uh, you can actually have the screen split and still have functionality on both sides, of course, since this is multi-touch. But uh, this does a better job at that multi-display that we saw the likes of LG do with their dual display panels. This just looks much cleaner, much better, and definitely has a, a better feel or fit to it. So very nice experience where you can have your gaming experience on one side, which almost is like a standard smartphone, but you can also increase that if you want to. So you can go ahead and kind of move, move this up if you choose. So I can easily create more real estate for myself making it easier to, you know, make the screen bigger or smaller and still have that video there. So it's a really nice way to use your device uh, in a multiple fashion. And having in the halfway point where the crease is, so when you fold it, you have this kind of layout, which is pretty cool. Again, it's 
exactly where the crease is so you can have your game on the bottom you can have video on the top and it looks very seamless altogether and then we have some accessibility functions uh, things you can do to give you more uh, dexterity or use like your talkback uh, functions you've got visibility enhancements hearings interactions advanced settings to use some more to add more customization to some of your keys like your volume keys you can add things like live transcribe uh, magnify talk back to either volume up or down and then you've got flash notifications so uh, so if you want to get one your notifications to show you can actually have your camera flash and we can preview you can see it's I don't know if you can see that so it's flashing right there and then screen flash and we can actually preview that so your screen will flash as well so you have those uh, options there to customize some of your notifications and then honestly there is the tips and helps which will give you tips for using your z fold what it's capable for there are 19 things here so so within the camera there are a few things you can do of course this is what the internal camera looks like and uh you can go into your camera settings and you've got a few camera features here that are, uh, you know, they're pretty much standard to your Galaxy devices. Uh, but you do have cover view here where, uh, or preview, sorry, which allows you to preview all the images on the side. And then you can also use the cover view to use your cover display as a viewfinder. Now, when you tilt it in, this is what happens giving you that ability to stand it and also use this as a viewfinder. So you get an idea. This is, this is useful. Again, you can just place it down, take your photo, and you are good to go. All right, guys, hopefully that gave you a good idea of how you can use your Galaxy Z Flip 3 in many ways. If you have any questions or any comments or you have more tips, uh, Leave them down below so others can actually find out. If you want to pick up the Z Fold 3 or even this case, I'll have links for you guys down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.